people. Nonetheless, shout out to all the to reoccurring viewers. Shout out to the new viewers. If you guys are the first time you guys are catching this podcast, this is the most dangerous podcast on God's green earth. Remember, I told you we're affirmation warriors. I speak this to existence. This is one of the most dangerous podcasts on God Green's Earth. This is episode number 65, Gunshots. That part, one of the most dangerous podcasts on God Green's Earth. That part, shout out to Peter Bully in the building. Shout out to Paul Bizzle in the building. That's the fam, you heard? That's the fam right there. Now listen, I am the incomparable, the author MTA, but can I be Duque, the one they took their style from, the elected, appointed, voice of the streets, leader of the streets, learn all the streets, lord of the streets, all right? I'm the uh, top op, public enemy number one, the one that they keep taking their style from, you heard? The birthday boy. And this is powered by LOTS Approved Media. And this is the Don't Shoot the Message podcast, episode number 66. <laughs> That part. All right. Now, listen, as of recently, you guys know Tory Lanez. All right. We all know Tory Lanez is locked up right now. All right. And it's like Tory Lanez, though he's locked up, he's, he will not be forgotten. You see Tory Lanez drop that new project, and everybody's loving the new R&B project. Shout out to Tory Lanez. Clap it up for him. That part, shout out to Tory Lanez. Now, nonetheless, like I told you, Tory is not laying down. Even though he might be laying down currently in, in the prison system, in the penal system right now, he's not laying down politically, okay? Now, Tory Lanez, as of recently, his bodyguard came out. And his bodyguard submitted a statement to the courts. Tory Lanez's bodyguard said, and this, I think it's the same bodyguard that got missing when it's time to go to court. Tory Lanez's bodyguard said that he saw Megan Thee Stallion's friend, Kelsey, with a gun. Now, it looks like the courts are taking this, this statement that he made, that he submitted, they're taking it into consideration, all right? So, like I said, Tory is not laying down. And listen, Tory has a real fan base. Tory has a fan base reminiscent to Nicki Minaj. A real fan base. His fan base is with him with whether he's right or wrong. Really, though. He has a really they call it the umbrellas. The umbrellas. Listen. People really stand behind Tory Lanez like as if like an NBA young boy. You know they say young boy greater. Yeah, you know Nikki got the barbs. That part, Tory has his own fan base, a super supportive core fan base. And they keep running up the comment section saying free, free uh Tory with no regard for Megan Thee Stallion. Tory's fans, they throw Megan under the bus. You know what I mean? Shout out to Megan Thee Stallion, unless that's a black woman. You know what I mean, we're not gonna hit to bash. Uh, Megan Thee Stallion. But while we on Megan Thee Stallion, you guys, you know Megan Thee Stallion caught wind of this new uh, this new thing, this the bodyguard popping up, all right? The security popping up, uh, submitting a statement saying Kelsey had a gun. And that, you know, that did not sit well with Megan. Megan went on the internet and she went on a tirade. Megan saying they won't let her live. Megan said, you see that I'm starting to heal. Y'all see that I'm starting here. I'm finally getting over this. And y'all just keep bringing this back up. Some are saying that Tory's making a frivolous attempt. Some people are considering this a, a frivolous attempt to get back in the courts. Right? Some are saying that it's over for Tory Lanez. Like, why are you even trying? A day late and a dollar short. Nonetheless, but Tory is back. Tory's back trying to uh, get this back in court. And I heard that the courts are taking this into consideration, allegedly. All right? This is all coming in uh, uh, news-wise. And obviously, I'm going to keep you guys updated on it. But yeah, it looks like Corey, Tory Lanez is trying to get back inside the courts. It looks like Tory Lanez is trying to come home. It looks like Tory Lanez is trying to put it on, on, on Kelsey. It looks like Tory Lanez is definitely throwing Kelsey under the bus at this point. Now, I don't know what prior agreement, because uh, let me tell you something. Meg, Megan Thee Stallion has her own, she has her own speculations about this whole situation. Megan saying, why you been didn't speak up. Megan is insisting that Tory should have got on the stand. This is why Megan is saying that she doesn't qualify or she doesn't agree with, uh, she doesn't believe in Tory, what Tory's saying, because Tory could have been took the stand. Tory, she's saying Tory should have, Tory had all chances to, to how would how do you say that shit? I forget these court terms. That there's a term that you that you say, you know what I mean? He could have had himself exonerated. He could have exonerated himself by taking a stand. But you know that lawyers, they advise you not to take the stand. That's one of the best ways to ruin your case by taking a stand. Because you're not ready for them prosecutors and how they're going to flip and, 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 and twist you up in your own story. Right? 
So obviously he was advised by his lawyer and advised by any Tom, Dick, and Harry. Anybody would tell you, any fool would tell you, Tory probably is not in your best interest to take the stand. But nonetheless, this is what Mega Science contributed to him not being, his, his, his shit not being valid. She's saying that Tory is not valid because Tory could have been took the stand. And I have a feeling that Meg doesn't want, he, she doesn't want Kelsey to speak. If you notice throughout this whole case, Meg is trying to save her face. Let's call a spade a spade right now. Meg know that she was scrapping with Kelsey, but Meg is focused on Tory. She doesn't want to speak about her situation, her altercation with Kelsey. No way, shape, or form does she ever speak in details about her situation with Kelsey. Even post Tory Lanez being convicted of shooting Meg, I'm shooting, shooting Meg, Meg has yet to speak about in details about that fight she had with Kelsey. Now, I don't think Megan, obviously Megan and Kelsey are no longer friends. So my thing is, why is Megan trying her hardest? She's trying her hardest not to speak about her and Kelsey's situation. Because that plays a valid point. That's that point. That was a turning point. That was a de- that was a defining point. That whole Kelsey, the whole Kelsey and and and, and 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 the whole Meg and Tory shit. It's the Kelsey situation that spawned this. This is on the heels of of, of remember Tory was rocking with her friend Kelsey. Remember Meg slept with Tory after the fact that her friend was sleeping with Tory unbeknownst to Kelsey. Meg never told Kelsey that she was with Tori. This all broke down. This all unveiled while they were together inside the limo or leaving the, the, the Kardashians, the, 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 the Jenners, leaving a Kylie Jenner's house. Everything got exposed at that point. So you can imagine, it's fresh. They're under the influence of alcohol. Things went crazy. Shit went haywire, Right? But why she keeps trying to suppress that? Why does Megan keep trying to suppress the whole Kelsey situation? That's a defining moment. That right there will give us more elaborate detail as to the, the, the intentions, what spawned it, what made Tory flip off at the handle, if he did. Why she's trying to suppress Kelsey? What made, why is Kelsey being implemented so much? This would give us details, right? This would re- reveal some things, some misconceptions that we may have. A lot of us have some mixed conceptions as the as to the role that Kelsey played in Tory shooting allegedly Megan Thee Stallion. Kelsey is the puzzle, the missing puzzle to the story, if you don't know. So now the bodyguard has come forward and submitted, saying he bear witness that Kelsey had a pistol. Don't shoot the messenger. She had a pistol in her hand. This is new right here. All right? This is new. This is new. So you know Meg is not feeling that. Megan Thee Stallion is not feeling that. She's not feeling that Tory is bodyguard is coming to submit this information. She's not feeling that this may result in her having to go back to court. Meg doesn't want to speak about this no more. According to Meg, she's healed at this point. Now, I'm just saying some valid shit right now. You heard? I have no horse in the race. I'm not against. I already apologize about Meg Thee Stallion. Because if Tory had anything to do with it, as a man, I feel like Tory did play a role, but not necessarily the shooting role. I don't know. I'm not going to say that I, I believe that Tory shot her, right? But what I can say is there's a lot of motives on all parties, right? There's, 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 there's signs, there's things that could validate the certain things that Tory took part of because Tory was in a shot and match with, a shot and match with Meg. Obviously, Kelsey finding out that Meg was sleeping with Tori. She was hot with Meg. And what makes that more prevalent, what makes that more relevant is that they're no longer friends no longer. Now, Megan is under the assumption that Tori tried to pay Kelsey. So there's a lot of different aspects to this story that's leaving me confused at this point, right? So this is all alleged speculation that we're doing. And the only reason I'm speculating because it's all over the internet. Why not? And like I said, I have no horse in the race. Because I feel like Tory could have been way more mature about this whole shit. I feel like Meg Thee Stallion could have been way more mature about this whole shit. And I understand why Kelsey doesn't want to be implemented if she's the person that actually shot Meg. I understand Kelsey's disposition. I understand her position in it. All right? So this is all speculation nonetheless, man. Shout out to Kelsey, first of all. 
Shout out to Meg Thee Stallion, second of all. And shout out to Tory Lanez. Now, once again, if Tory Lanez shot Megan, I ain't with that shit. I'm not down with no man that shoot women. I ain't with the shit, homie. Even if you was down with the girl, even if you even if you didn't if you didn't do anything to try to stop it, I'm not down with that shit. But this is all alleged, so I can't say nothing like that, right? The story's gonna unveil, and this looks it looks like what I'm basically saying, you guys. I don't think this case is over, and according to the courts, I'm thinking they're taking this into consideration. But we'll see, okay? We'll definitely see. Now. You guys, make sure you guys are sharing this podcast. Make sure you guys are hitting that like button. Like I said, don't be a ninja watcher. It's a person that be creeping to watch. Don't be no pocket watcher. It's a hater. And you definitely don't want to be a peeping time. Y'all know what they do to peeping times? Oh, yo, yo, looking ass. You know what they do to peeping times, right? When they wind up in jail? Don't be an R. Kelly. Don't be, don't wind up like them guys. You heard? You'll find out. You'll definitely find out. Now, moving right along. Listen, let's speak about it. Uh, Quando Rondo recently was arrested, all right? Uh, I think this is all doing with the, dealing with the indictment. We're not going to stay too long on it, but Quando Rondo, uh, NBA Young Boys artist, excuse me, out of Savannah, Georgia. Quando Rondo uh, recently was arrested. 